In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what they have done and in what they have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask a blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of, the, of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Curse is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the de desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. It leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no, no distress but it still bears fruit. More tortuous than all else is the human heart beyond remedy. Who can understand it? I, the Lord alone, prove the mind attest the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff with the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked banishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please stand Blessed are they who have kept the word with generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill from the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. 
the rich man also died and was buried. And from the nether world where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between you and us, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours and from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Kumusta po kayo? Okay lang po kayo. Sa buhay po, ito po yung napakasimpleng formula ko sa buhay para maging masaya. S, S, S. Hindi po ito social security system. No? Hindi po ito yon. But three S in life na dapat palaging magkasama. Ano yung unang S? Save. Yung pangalawa, savor. Yung pangatlo, na dapat din natin kalimutan, Share. In life, sa buhay, hindi natin alam kung ano yung darating sa atin. Hindi ba? Malusog ka ngayon, hindi mo alam, magkakasakit ka. Accidents do happen, we don't know. Hindi natin alam ang, ang future. That is why it is important to save. Di ba? Sabi nga ng mga matatanda, kapag ka meron kang, di ba, may tinatago ka, may sinisave ka, In times of need, meron kang madudukot. No? Hindi po masama mag-save. Hindi po masama. Tandaan po natin yan. Hindi masama ang mag-save. Kasi, lalo na sa mga magulang dito, hindi natin alam yung future. Di ba? Gusto mo mag-save para sa anak mo. O minsan, para sa health mo. Hindi natin alam. We don't know what will happen to us. It is important to save. Pangalawa, savor. Okay po yung magsisave ka. Pero mahalaga din po yung you savor the fruits of your labor. Ibig sabihin, ini-enjoy mo rin. Save ka ng save. Bigla kang namatay. Anong gagawin mo sa savings mo? Wala, di ba? Useless. Meron ka ngang millions doon sa savings mo, patay ka naman o pampalibing mo. Pagandahin mo yung kabaong mo. Pagandahin mo yung... Cementerio, kung saan ka ililibing. Useless. Kaya you save, but you also savor. You enjoy the fruits of your labor. Kaya kapag pupunta kayo kung saan, magpilgrimage kayo sa Manawag, go ahead. Punta kayo ng mall, kain sa labas. Savor, enjoy it. You deserve it. Di ba? Walang bawal dyan, walang mali dyan. Lalong-lalo na, kapag ka ito po'y iyong pinaghirapan. Minsan nga sa social media, di ba, merong mga anak nag-iipon para yung kanilang anak ay mapakain nila sa mga it all you can. Kaso useless din. Yung mga bata dito namin, yung mga magulang kayo na 60 plus above, wag yun ang dalhin sa it all you can. Gagastos lang kayo ng malaki. Maraming bawal yan. Pagdating mo doon, bawal ang pork, bawal ang seafoods, bawal lahat. Anong order rin ng nanay-tatay mo? Tubig lang. Hindi po kasalanan at hindi po mali that you savor at you enjoy the fruits of your labor. 
Yung pangatlo, huwag nating kalimutang mag-share. Kasi kung minsan, yung marami sa atin, kapag ka nakaangat na sa buhay, umaangat din yung standard of living. Nakakalimutan nila yung standard of giving. Meron nga quotation, magandang alalahanin, that when you raise, and when you rise financially, raise, sabi niya, raise, do not raise your level, your standard of living, but raise your standard of giving. Sa totoo lang, sa ibang ilang binasa natin, ganun po ang nangyari. Hindi naman mali ang mag maging mayaman. Hindi po mali. Di ba ito, mayaman siya. Kumakain ng fiesta pala, parang fiesta pala eh, kasi everyday he would eat sumptuously. Masarap na pagkain. Wala pong mali doon. Mayaman siya. Ano gagawin mo? Kain ka na masarap. May kaya mo naman bilhin. Hindi mo naman ninakaw. Ini-enjoy niya. Alam niyo kung ano naging kasalanan niya? Yung sin of omission. Ibig sabihin na yung tao na nangangailangan, nasa gate na niya, nasa harap na ng bahay niya, he could not even, kita mo ang binibigay sa ano, doon sa kay Lazarus, tira-tira, ang yaman-yaman mo, tapos ang ibibigay mo, tira-tira lang. Actually, hindi nga bigay eh, kasi nahuhulog lang eh. Yun yung kasalanan niya. Nakalimutan niya, perhaps he may, he may save, baka nag-save siya, nag-save or siya in-enjoy niya, pero nakalimutan niya ang mag-share. Ito yung alalahan natin palagi. May kanta nga tayo sa misa, di ba? Na pang-resessional, o di kaya minsan kinakanta sa patay. Alam niyo yon yung pananagutan? Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. At walang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Lahat tayo, oh, yan, lahat tayo ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. O yun yung challenge sa atin palagi. It's not about being rich, but to share your rich chest. Ang challenge mo sa ba, hindi yung pagiging mayaman mo, kundi pagbabahagi ng yaman mo. Ito yung sinasabi dito sa Ebanghelo natin. Sapagat ang taong yung mayaman, andyan na nga sa labas ng bahay niya, hindi pa niya makuhang imbitahin. O, oh, ang daming pagkain dito, tulungan mo ako. Minsan pa nga eh, ang hirap nito kapag ka mahirap, inaabuso din. Alam niyo ba yun? Minsan maraming mga ganon. Marami ka nangang pera, marami ka nangang, hindi ka pa marunong mag-share. Isang halimbawa, ito, kapag kabibili kayo doon sa gilid-gilid, kung makatawad tayo, minsan eh, wala nang kinikita yung tao. Ay, it's a reality. Diba? Magkano naman patong yan? 10 pesos, 20 pesos, 50 pesos, o balagyan na natin pinakamalaki, 100 pesos. Ikaw, nakasasakyan ka. Magkano kinikita mo? Idideprive mo pa ba yung 10 pesos? Di ba maraming ganyan? Alala ko tuloy. No ako po ay pa sa Mindanao. May merong isang prutasan doon kasi sa may kalagitnaan doon eh. From Jensen to Davao, madalas ako doon eh. So, one time, nag-travel ako. May isang prutasan doon. Mga pumelo, oh, sikat ang pumelo, Davao sa pumelo. So yung mga sinundan ko, may dalawang sasakyan na nakapark, Fortuner yung isa, I think yung isa is Everest. Ako, sasakyan ko is Inova, no? yung daladala ko, kung nagdadrive. Habang bumibili sila ng, ano, ng tawag na ito, prutas, tawad ng tawad. Tawad ng tawad. Sabi ko, naka-Fortuner naman ito mga ito. Naka-Everest naman, ang yayaman. Ang mga, mga, mukhang Donya. Mukhang mga, alam mo na, mga hasindero ang itsura. Ako nga, nung, nung bumili doon, naka-shorts lang. Mukhang mahirap. O, pagdating doon, eh, tinatawad sila ng tawad. Ako naman, magkano po? Tapos, eh, hindi naman sa pagmamayabang, hindi sa pagbuhat ng sarili ng mga kabat. This is an example. 
Tawad silang tawad. Naawa ko dun sa tindera. Ko, magkano po ang ganyan? O sige po, isang kilo. Ganyan. Gawin mo ng dalawa. E kaso, wala siyang panukli. Bigyan ko ng particular bill. Medyo, sabi na natin, may sobra, malaki-laki ang sobra. Sir, wala po akong change. Alam niyo kanong ginawa ko? Binigay ko dun sa kanya. Sige po, you keep the change at tumingin ako dun sa mga mayayaman. You see? Ididipray mo pa iba yung 10 pesos, 20 pesos? Ikaw po, hindi mo kitain yan. Marami sa atin ganyan. Hindi natin alam. Because akala natin, it's just okay. Alam nyo kapag buhibila ako doon sa mga yung mga gilid-gilid, hindi na ako tumatawag. Bakit? Magkano malang kinikita niya? Di ba? Share your wealth. Ah, hindi mo yung savings mo, mamatay din tayo lahat. Ilang years na akong pare, hindi pa ako nakakita ng nilibing na kasama yung kanyang sports car. Alam nyo yung mga namamatay? Nakabarong lang yan, may hiwa pa sa likod. Nakamedyas, Burlington. Oh. Ito yung sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos. You save, you savor, but you share. Sapagkat lahat tayo may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Baka sabihin niyo, Father, kapag mayaman ba kami sa lupa? Doon ba sa langit? Piano? Hindi po. Palagi pong sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos, it's not about your wealth. It's what we do of our wealth. Hindi po yung kung ano yung meron ka, kundi kung anong ginagawa mo ng meron ka. Kasi maaaring mahirap ka nga, itamad ka naman, wala kang ginawang mabuti din sa lupa, mapupunta ka ba sa langit? It is also an insult to the Lord that you remain poor for the rest of your life because you choose to be like that. God is telling us na kapag ka may effort ka, oh yan. Father, mahirap na ako kasi mapunta ako. Na, hindi po. God is telling us to use whatever gifts that we may have. Ibahagi ito sa iba. Yun po yung challenge. Huwag maging madamot. Kasi sa totoo lang, Ako pag nagmimisa sa patay, nararamdaman ko kaagad kung ang taong namatay ay mabuti o hindi. Nung buhay, ha? Pag mga ano, alam mo, pag mabuti, ramdam mo kahit hindi umiiyak yung tao. Alam mo, pag nangihinayang eh, yung mga tao, nangihinayang sila. Pag mabait, mabuti, generous yung tao, manginay, naku, sayang naman, namatay agad. O pag namatay tayo, pag namatay kayo, ano sasabihin? Ay, bakit kayo lang yung namatay? Dapat nung una pa, ang damot niya ni. Eh. O mamili kayo, mamili tayo. Kaya ito yung ano sa atin ng, ni Lord, eh, reminder sa atin ni Lord. Nakapagkabinigyan at tayo po yung umaangat sa buhay. Don't raise your standard of living. Raise your standard of giving. Raise your standard of of sharing. Na kapag tayo po'y umaangat sa buhay, mas tumataas ang ating pananagutan sa ating kapwa. And hopefully, kapag dumating na talaga tayo sa panahon na tayo po'y hihiga at babalik sa Diyos, yung mga nasa paligid natin ang sasabihin, naku sayang, o baka naman darating yung panahon na kapag ka namatay kayo mga tao nagbubulong-bulungan, Bakit ngayon lang? Sa buhay, tandaan natin, simple lang, maging masaya. Save, savor. And the most important thing, you share your blessing. Let us all stand. As we remember the special needs of the poor, we come before our God, who shared his riches with everyone by sending his son into the world. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may show forth 
the compassion of Christ for the poor who are struggling for a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are tempted to become slaves of wealth and material security may realize that the spiritual poverty arises from refusing to share with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all have the grace to show mercy and compassion, generosity, and understanding to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened by the warmth of the, our Lord's loving presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may share in the happiness and peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions and we also pray for the safety of all those who are traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your love and mercy, fill us with the abundance of your generosity and help us to reach out to the less fortunate. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For every good and the good of all his holy church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. S save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the election. Let us pray that the, f the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the dis destinies of nation. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may, may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray, Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others, May our political engagements for bothers and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. 
Let us pray. May these sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Their devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday of after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Sovereign Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Then afterwards, prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious images and articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.